acts of betrayal can sometimes violate our sense of trust and even sometimes have some physical effects. Phil Waltrip wrote a new book called Beyond Betrayal, Overcoming Past Hurts So We Can Begin to Trust Again. And he's here to talk to us about how we can manage our life after betrayal. So I'm really curious, Phil, what, what inspired you to write this book specifically? Well, you know, 20 years ago, I went through a very deep personal betrayal when a colleague and a friend and an employee, someone that I trusted and loved like my own brother, betrayed me. And at that time, I did some things well. I did some things that were not as well as they should have been. And I look back now and I realize I didn't have a resource to tell me what I was feeling and how I could have processed those feelings and what I needed to do so I could have healthy relationships in the future. And looking back on that experience, talking to people, doing research, that's how I came to write Beyond Betrayal because I wanted to give people something that helps them get through the betrayals in their life. So I think everyone kind of experiences betrayal in some form or fashion throughout their life at some point. What is it about betrayal specifically that you think really maybe causes an altering life experience? Well, you know, when we go through a betrayal, someone has shattered our trust and they really have abused our love is what they've done. But when trust is shattered, you begin to look around and think, well, if I couldn't trust this person, then maybe I can't trust anyone else. So other people in our life who have earned our trust, we start withdrawing it. And when you lose trust in a relationship, the relationship is affected. So it's life altering because now we don't want to trust people. And we allow our pain from a betrayal to uh, really affect every relationship. So that's one of the reasons why I think you have to process it in a healthy way. It takes time for sure, but if you do, it doesn't affect the other relationships in your life nor your future relationships. Yeah, and that's very critical because it can start to leak itself into uh, your future relationships. So what are some healthy ways to actually mm -hmm. express that anger? Well, you're mad because anytime you go through a betrayal, you have denial, you're angry, you can become bitter and revengeful. But one of the things that I discovered when I had this anger welling up inside of me was a healthy way for me, and I share many more in my book, but one of the ways was to take out a piece of paper and write what I was feeling. I expressed everything I wanted to do, everything I thought. Many times it was not pretty or nice, but when I finished, then I could take that piece of paper and shred it. I wasn't writing for someone else to read it. I wasn't writing for me to have a record. I was writing so I could express what I was feeling. And when I vented my anger on paper, it meant that I wasn't taking out my anger on other people or other relationships. And so when you express it on paper, it allows you to get it out. It allows you to verbalize it. But in doing so, you don't harm other people. And that's a healthy way to express your anger. And where can people connect with you and also get a copy of your book? Well, almost every major bookstore is going to have copies or they'll be glad to order it for you. Or you can go to a special website we have called beyondbetrayalbook.com. That's beyondbetrayalbook.com. And it'll direct you to those places as well. And of course, you can always get it on Amazon or any of the major bookstores. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. And of course, you can find this again on our website, firstcoastliving.net.